YouTube, what's going on? Kyle with the Pool Supply. Today we are going to do a quick fix video on Pentair's Little Shark, meant for above ground pool cleaners or pool systems. We're actually going to show you guys how to replace his teeth. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. So again, today we're gonna take apart uh, Pantera's Little Shark. This one is meant specifically for above ground pools. Um, only because it's simplicity, it's, it's meant to do the duty that is needed in an above ground pool. So there's not a lot of working parts internally, so we're gonna show you guys how to actually um, tear apart some of the fixtures that you see here. And today we're actually gonna do his teeth. So if for some reason his teeth got kicked or they've cracked or they've broken, it, is a separate part that you can purchase. So you don't actually need to get a whole new cleaner. You can actually take this thing apart and replace just his teeth. So we're actually gonna dive in and show you guys how to get that off. So let me switch over to the other camera and we'll go from there. All right, so we got uh, our handy dandy tools. The only thing that you'll actually need for this is I got a drill. We don't normally recommend, but there's only actually two screws on this cleaner, so um, the drill's not going to hurt it. If not, and you don't feel comfortable with it, you can always just use a, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. That works as well. Um, you are going to need um, an Allen wrench for future stuff, and then always a hammer as well. But for this, we're only going to be using the drill. So. First thing you wanna do is actually take the cleaner and flip it over. So right here on the bottom, you'll actually see that it has two screws here. So those are the only two screws that this cleaner actually has. So we're gonna start by removing those. So I have my handy drill here and let's remove these. So once you got both of those screws removed, you are literally going to just grab the center piece and lift up. So now you've actually got the actual working part of the cleaner with your brushes and your oscillator in there. You're gonna actually set that off to the side and you are left with this piece. So in order to just get the teeth off, there's actually a uh, two screws right here in the front. So you're gonna start by removing those two screws. Um, you can take these washers off if you want to. Uh, those are just meant for the weight of the cleaner. Uh, they, they, they do tend to just come right off. So to make it easier for you, you can take them out but it's not needed. So enjoy the fast forward music. All right, now once you get both of those screws off, you can pull them out here, obviously. This one didn't want to come out as easy. It actually will just slide up and out, but let me move it all the way. Oops. There you go. So from there, you're actually going to just lift this teeth out. So they come out real easy. And like I had said, you can actually purchase these teeth separately. So then that way you don't actually have to purchase a whole new head. So make sure you check out all the links down in the description to take you to the part. And uh, we'll go ahead and go ahead and reinstall a new one for you. Um, so took the old one off and you're gonna put the new one on. Uh, again, it's directional, so you won't actually be able to put it on the other way in order to make sure that you get these two screw points in. So really simple to follow. You literally just slide the edges on each side. They've actually got pre-done little slots here for you where it just slides right in. It lines back up on your screw points and then you just screw them back in. So once again, enjoy the fast forward music. Once you get both of those screws set, then you got your new teeth on there. Uh, just, just like you had done before, you're actually gonna take this piece and uh, this is directional, so you do have two ports uh, here where you actually took your screws out, and then you've got one longer one that's actually going to feed onto the, the knob here, and so you're gonna wanna make sure you put that back in there correctly. Flip it up, slide it in. Last thing you gotta do is just go ahead and put those last two screws in, and you're good to go. Today we went over how to replace the teeth on uh, the Pentair Little Shark. I'm Kyle with the Bull Supply. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below. We got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.